Greetings and indeed a hearty salutations, newcomer to the channel who's been massively baited into clicking on this video created by the master and uh, enticer. Uh, mate, welcome to the channel. I, I do water desk stuff. I bash them and I praise them when it's due. Uh, it's, it's, it's good. Yeah, get subscribed, mate. That includes you, Tony, mate. Welcome along, Tony. Nice to see you, buddy. If you can just click the, uh, the subscribe button, I think it's down there, mate. I'll be much appreciated. Thanks. Right, uh, te teleprompter. Okay, Autodesk have opened the door for finally genuine free access to their software. So ever since their formal conception, I think it was 1982, one thing's remained pretty consistent throughout. You can ask anyone in any position and they'll say Autodesk software, just it's just not cheap. And if what seems like the entire highly lucrative architectural industry are all complaining about the cost of license access right now and how it's damaging the bottom line. It doesn't really bode well for the rest of us, but it isn't entirely unobtainable, mate. Autodesk is still offering some LT versions, right? Which are much cheaper than the full version, AutoCAD, Maya, uh, Revit LT, but they're often still too expensive for some. And some LT flavors are just far too diluted down and missing essential tool sets. And there's just not many of them either. Or there's the free one-year renewable license for pretty much any Autodesk product for students and educators for as long as they're within a recognized eligible education setting. But, but what about everyone else, mate? And this has always been the impenetrable fortress, right? The huge barrier to entry stopping people from learning Autodesk software and trying it out. Take a, an auto or a car mechanic, for example. Should he or she decide that they're actually pretty serious about designing cars for a living instead of just fixing them up, how do they go about dabbling with the likes of Alias in their spare time to see if it's something that they can actually figure out and work towards? Well, they, they just can't. The 30-day trial that's offered by most Autodesk products is, and I don't think anyone can argue with this, it's objectively massively insufficient for any kind of a learning journey. So what do most people end up doing? Well, usually nothing, mate. They just give up or they'll take a punt on a cracked copy, which these days is outrageously dangerous with the increased sophistication of ransomware and Trojans. Or there's, of course, the up and coming cheaper competitors that are now challenging Autodesk's market share. They've got to keep an eye on that. So today, after a long time working on it, Autodesk are introducing a new license called the Personal Learning Edition or the PLE. Don't get carried away just yet though, mate. Right now, it's only available on two of their products, but they're seriously strong ones to start with. We're talking Alias Auto Studio, and VRED Professional. So the PLE, it's a free one-year license for literally anyone, obviously with restrictions that I'll mention in a bit, but starting with Alias and VRED Professional, you'll need to sign up for an Autodesk account if you don't have one already, but you're essentially getting a full one-year license to access both Alias and or VRED. It's not entirely full, let's talk terms and conditions. The PLE for Alias and VRED is essentially the full software tool set, but with similar restrictions that you're gonna find on the likes of the free version of Fusion 360, right? So you're gonna get full access to all the detailed design tools in Alias, Class A servicing, importing of reference data. The thing is all the file export options are removed except for native wire format, along with restricted ability to share Alias data outside of the Autodesk ecosystem. Aside from that, it's a full Alias. With VRED, you're getting the absolutely outstanding full professional SKU with full unrestricted access to VR capabilities, which is amazing. Presentation tools, full material asset library and scene composition tools, just like with the commercial license, with again, the only restriction again being on data export. So you're limited to the native VPB file output and there's sadly, but obviously no access to the VRED Go feature, which is insane and limited capability for screen sharing, which I assume extends across to the likes of the remote streaming. Not sure though, but a lot of this stuff is just things that a new beginner, just, they've got no business using anyway, or even know what it is. Plus with VRED, both the real-time ray tracing viewport and the exported renders, well, they're gonna be watermarked, but don't worry about this. I know it's got a history, but it's not baked into the file, so there's no risk of a scene being polluted or destroyed by a PLE license if you ever migrate up to a commercial license or if a shared file ever crosses paths with a PLE. So don't get this twisted, mate. Autodesk are very much aware of the risks in creating an avenue for potential commercial abuse with a free license. So it kind of goes without saying, the PLE is strictly only for people to leverage for non-commercial use. Examples are gonna include anyone with an interest in learning these industries, right? They're wanting to learn or try out the software, but they're not eligible for an educational program and they clearly can't afford that, right? Just to try it out for a while. It's for existing users who want to further their knowledge at home by practicing on the software, or people using competitive software looking for a job elsewhere at a company who might probably be using Autodesk toolsets. 
Either way, mate, whatever your reason, as long as you're not working on paid work or generating revenue from the software use, mate, you call it download and access. And at this time, and it, this will change, but the PLE is based on the .0 day one version of the product release. Autodesk are working on making the PLE accounts receive the subscription point releases mid-year, but that's gonna come in time. The one-year license is apparently as well not renewable, which in my opinion is kind of fair enough. Although I'm sure someone will probably find a way around that, just bear in mind this. The Autodesk ADP, or their data collection program, is mandatory with the PLE, meaning they're legally obliged to an extent to understand what you're doing and what system you're doing it on. But all being said, mate, this is a cataclysmic stride forwards for a company notoriously strict on software access, made possible by the hard work and internal advocacy of the Autodesk automotive teams. There's a long way to go, but mate, make no mistake, door is now firmly wide open and the path's been paved for other Autodesk teams to potentially make available their products on a PLE basis. There's no word yet on any developments there, but you can be sure you'll hear it here first when it happens. So if you're interested in tinkering with Alias or VRED, mate, Autodesk have been, they've got huge portfolios of tutorials available and I'll link all of those in the description. Me, I've got my own full beginner's intro to VRED tutorial, which still holds up today. I'll link that down below as well, along with links on where to get the PLE and more information on it. Well done, Autodesk. Bravo. Thanks for watching the video.